There's a lot of value in connectivity and we're gonna leverage that incredible value to build beautiful, beautiful experiences. It's not subtractive. As cavemen and women, we would blow air across our larynx and form words, and then we formed languages, and then we were able to write down the language, and then we were able to type the language, and then we were able to democratize it and print the language. And for those of you who suffered through DOS, we then had to code the language. And then when Apple came out, we got to point. And then when smartphones came out, we got to thumb. We will go back to our origin of the most intuitive form of communication, back to talking. That is the future OS. Now, I know that bad things can happen. I'll give you an example. I had this great idea because everybody in this room, according to my belief system, needs an inflatable abdominal fitness machine, right? So 20 years ago, I invented the first inflatable fit. It was awesome. I mean, I had it tested by the orthopedic research organization. You could blow it up, and I think that's where you got most of the exercise. Now, never forget that it was a Sunday, and they had tested the infomercial for an entire week. And the producer called me, and the producer said, Nick, check it out. I got news for you. All the data has come back in, and here's what we found. It's like a Hoover vacuum. I'm like, oh my God, they sold billions of Hoover vacuums. He said, no, Nick, uh, I think you misunderstand. It sucked and blew all at the same time. So what is disruption? I think in order for you to take innovation and disruptive innovation and apply it in your enterprise in a way that's meaningful, that delivers real value, we need to know what it is. And here's the secret, it's super simple. Disruption is nothing more than the speed of innovation. I found that the biggest problem is most organizations sort of see disruption, the word disruption is kind of a unicorn. They believe it's a thing, but as we say in California, it's just squishy. It doesn't, it's amorphous and hard to describe. And the neat thing about it is, is that when we do this right, we improve quality of work life, we make it a more fun and interesting place for people to work. We do a far better job of gaining real actionable consumer insights and we create more profitable, better businesses. We are using disruptive innovation to destroy lameness and replace it with something that my 13-year-old daughter would call delicious. Most of us believe, I think today, that change is coming. You know, the truth of the matter is, change is here already. Disruption is the best thing that could happen to everybody in this room. It is, the, it is the ultimate mother of all quivers that we can pull from to innovate. This is the stuff that innovation is made out of, and it is so vast and it's so exciting. And once we understand it, we can really, really apply it in a very practical way. I would really be excited about, and I know that it'll be an equal and fair service to others. I love that. It actually just gave me goosebumps. I love that. But I think that if disruption is the problem, and of course it is, then the answer is innovation.